There is new hope for some families stranded in Utah since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Residents of American Samoa cannot go home because the U.S. Tor territory rather closed its border last March. But as Fox 13's John Franke explains, some developments this week could ju be just the beginning of a very long journey home. Yeah, these folks just can't wait to board a flight here at the Salt Lake Airport and fly across Pacific back home to American Samoa. Right now, that territory has zero cases of COVID-19, and the government there wants to keep it that way. That's why the restrictions have been so stringent. But the rules that have kept these families apart might finally be easing. I just want to go home. Since August of 2019, Deidre Harrington Latu has only seen her husband and three kids on a computer screen. I have three kids in Samoa and they closed the borders and that was devastating. Her family was set to join her in Utah to relocate here in March. Then COVID hit and changed everything. You can't feel no happiness, truly feel happy without your family. Deidre isn't alone. Dozens of other families are in Utah, unable to return to the island paradise. It's been very, very hard. Um, Definitely on our children, especially to be separated from their father for so long. This website is giving these families a reason to be optimistic. The American Samoa Department of Health now accepting applications to bring its residents home. There is some hope. The governor of the territory issued this emergency declaration Sunday. It extends the suspension of flights until February 1st. That's when the door to the island may reopen. If it does, those who want to return must get their application approved, then fly to Hawaii and quarantine there for 10 days. Then they'll fly from Honolulu to American Samoa and quarantine 14 more days. There is light, but it's still a very long tunnel. If, if it does start in February, you know, the, the people who are last on the list might be here till the end of 2021. Until then, these families are leaning on each other. Because of our culture, you know, we're Samoan, we're related. Um, blood doesn't tell us that. As they wait to hold their loved ones. It'll be a, a very, very great day. That hope is helping them get through each day. And that's my prayer. My daily prayer with my son is just, you know, we get to see them again. Meanwhile, the government of American Samoa tells me they are working to bring these families back home. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.